light spherical mirrors real and virtual image spherical mirrors you are used to seeing your reflection on flat surfaces like mirror in your bedroom your face looks just like it is except for the left and right being flipped things are the same size and in the same proportion how can you make your reflection exciting and different it's easy just go check out how you look in a shiny spoon in fact the spoon reflection is so cool you get a different kind of reflection depending on what side of the spoon you're looking into even when you hold the spoon close and far away the image changes it can be straight or upside down the size changes too isn't that amazing yes but as a young scientist i'm sure you must be wondering why this happens this way well get ready to find out welcome to the very interesting world of spherical mirrors a spherical mirror is a curved surface now when you think of a curve you can think of a line like this now this curve has two sides either this side can be the reflecting side or this side can be the reflecting side so a curved mirror can be any one of these two options the reflecting side is the light side the non-reflecting side is the dark side if you keep the curved mirror in such a way that the reflecting side faces you you either get a curve bulging towards you or a curve that bends away from you if the curve bends towards you we call the mirror a convex mirror if the curve bends away from you we call the mirror a concave mirror can you say which mirror is convex and which mirror is concave you have a lot of places where you have to draw diagrams with mirrors drawing light and dark lines like this is not possible each time so scientists have come up with a quick way of drawing these they just draw slanting lines on the surface that is not reflecting so obviously the surface that does not have the slant lines is the reflecting surface that way everyone is very clear about which side acts as the mirror now look at these and say what kind of mirrors they are we have been calling convex and concave mirrors as curved mirrors but actually in science they are called spherical mirrors can you guess why because they are parts of a sphere these curves are not two dimensional curves like you get when you just fold a paper these curves are three dimensional curves like you get when you cut a section of a sphere like a ball it's a curve any way you look at it like this or even like this let's get back to the spoon look at the inner surface of the spoon i mean the side that you load your food on what kind of spherical mirror are you looking at convex or concave it's a concave mirror as the reflecting surface bends away from you it goes inside like a cave that's a trick you can use to remember what a concave mirror is the opposite is then a convex mirror look at the back side of the spoon what kind of a mirror are you looking at it's a convex mirror as it bulges towards you real and virtual images 
the reflection that the mirror makes is called an image. Now, we also know that the images that we see in these spherical mirrors are quite different from what we have seen in plane mirrors. When you see an image in a plane mirror, you see it through the mirror itself. Can you get that image on a screen? Let's try. We'll keep a screen behind the mirror where we think the image is. Does the image come onto the screen? No, it doesn't. That is because the image is not real. So, what's the opposite of an image that is not real? No, not unreal. Scientists call it a virtual image. It looks like there is an image, but it's only when you look into the mirror. You cannot take a virtual image on a screen. So, the image that you see when you look into a plain mirror is always virtual. Let's see if we can take images from a spherical mirror on a screen. For this experiment, you will need a concave mirror and a stand or something to keep the mirror upright and steady. You'll also need a candle and a screen. Position the candle in front of the mirror. Then, try to get the image of the candle on the screen. You will have to adjust the position of the candle and the screen properly to make it happen. As you move the candle and screen around, keep looking at the image in the mirror too. That is a virtual image, but you will see interesting things happening to that. In a plain mirror, you know that the image is the same size as the object and upright. But that is not the case in a concave mirror. The image can be bigger than the object or even smaller than the object. The image may be upright or inverted. It all depends on how far the object is from the mirror. But at a certain position, you will get a sharp image. This image is a real image because you can actually get it on a screen. Check out how the image is. Is it upright or inverted? Is it the same size of the object or bigger or smaller in size? If the image is bigger than the object, it is said to be magnified. If the image is smaller than the object, it is said to be diminished. So, looking at the image, you should now be able to make comments on whether the image is real or virtual, whether it is upright or inverted and whether it is magnified or diminished. Did you see the difference between a real image and a virtual image now? Now, repeat the activity with a convex mirror. Try moving the object close to the mirror and away from it. Keep looking at the image. You will find that the image is always virtual and it is upright. Is it the same size as the object? No. The size of the image is smaller than the size of the object. What did we just learn? There are two types of spherical mirrors, convex and concave. There are two kinds of images, real and virtual. Virtual images are only seen in the mirror. Real images can be taken on a screen. If the image is bigger than the object, it is said to be magnified. If the image is smaller than the object, it is said to be diminished. The image formed in a plane mirror is always virtual and upright. It is the same size as the object. 
it is the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front of the mirror. A concave mirror can form a real and inverted image. When the object is placed very close to the mirror, the image is virtual, erect and magnified. A convex mirror always forms a virtual and upright image. It is smaller in size than the object.